Hello everybody, my name's Dan Loadable, and as we're here, you've probably guessed that I haven't quite given up on Cube yet. Now it's on my last nerve, so let's just try and get through this. I don't think there's much of it left, but I'm determined to finish it. Let's go. I somewhat foolishly have decided to not let this game beat me. I don't think there's very much left. I've looked at the trophy listings, and there aren't that many. Um, so I'm assuming I must be quite close to the end of the game. So I've come to the somewhat stupid idea that it's worth my time to finish it because I've gotten this far and it has taken so many years of my life that I think I need to finish it just to make it worth the money, if you know what I mean. I did start off really enjoying this. And then shoddy controls and wonky physics came into play and suddenly I stopped having fun. So it's kind of under sufferance, I suppose. I don't have to do this, I'm fully aware of that. But, um... Okay... I'm gonna guess... Um... No way to tick. I need to get you over there. So that's gotta be a blue one, I assume. But yeah, uh, I know I don't have to do this. This is all off my own bat, really. But at the same time, I feel like I... Not the route I was expecting that to take. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's exciting. Although that should... Yes, I see. I've got you fucking wintered and summered. Wonk. Okay. I know there is no reason for me to do this. Crapper! Ah, tits. Oh, wait, no. It may well do what I'm wanting. The mirror is that ball very loud. Kachunk! Alright, watch how exponentially uh, the difficulty ramps up on this, I imagine. Or just physics. Because all the controls actually kind of work nicely there for a change. Time for a lift, is it? Yeah, there's more lifts than puzzles in this, I swear down. But yeah, I realize... Wow, that's discombobulating. I don't enjoy that. Um, I realized that Dark Souls 3 is actually looming quite close. So hopefully this kind of will be the last episode of this because... All right. That's a, that's a rotate thing, isn't it? That's odd. Why do I need that? Ah, got you. Maybe. Possibly. Will that rotate the whole room? Anyway, um, Dark Souls 3 is looming quite tits. <laughs> I was hoping that would be do the whole bit, not just that strip. How is that useful for anyone? Newsflash, it's not... Oh, hang on. Oh, Dan just have idea. Dan have idea now. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, put you back now. Uh, no, actually, I'm confused. I don't know why I'm still going around that way. Ah! It doesn't help me. Um, how do I get the... Do I just aim at that? Yeah, there we go. Uh, we rotate you around that way, I assume. And then... Do like that. And hit you there. Perhaps. And we get... Maybe that's not what I want to do. Maybe I wanted to do that. Oh, hang on. No, I, I think I know. Wonk. There we go. That may or may not have been the route I was meant to take, but I did it anyway. I'm making fairly okay progress in Dark Souls 2, if I may say so myself. I mean, I ain't setting any records, but... Uh, you know, I've made, a few a fair made it through a fair few bosses. 
and what well, I only just put up episode seven. So you know it's not too shabby, I'd say. Um, but yeah, hopefully this will be the last one of these, so that. Oh, pish. I need to rotate this, don't I? So that I can um, jump onto doing. That's not right. Uh, maybe two Dark Souls a week. With maybe some little things interspersed. I'm thinking about maybe doing. Uh, some Mega Drive classics. Because I used to play a lot of Mega Drive back in the day, and there are some games that I really love, and some that are so bad I think they need to be showcased. So I'm thinking about maybe doing some of them, so if this is the last episode of this, that'll then give me time to try and get through Dark Souls 2 before 3 comes out. Oh, wow. Adventure! That'll give me hopefully a chance to get some stuff done and finish too with all of the extra content and uh, that'll give me an opportunity to chuck out some little things like old Mega Drive games on occasion. I'm befuddled. Interesting. Think and think. Have to rotate things first. Otherwise, it's not anywhere near it. So, I guess that way for now. And that didn't really help me, did it? Or did it? Okay, so we're there. I don't know what that does for me. How the fuck do I get it away from the corners? Um. Ah, wait a tick. No, Dan, not what I meant to do, but okay, you have your own plans here. Uh, where exactly? Mm-hmm. Ah, I might have it. In which case, I should get it looked at. Okay. I'm thinking you... Go here. Maybe. Then... No, that's not it at all. It doesn't help, but I'm getting confused. You'd have thought with specific arrows, like, both buttons would uh, do the same thing. But no, if I hit one button, it does that. Say if I hit uh, L2, it would go that way. If I hit R2, it will do the reverse. You'd have thought with the left and right thing there, you know, it would it'd be binary. It would be one or the other. Oh, pish. No, didn't want that. Did not want that at all. Right. What we're going to do... Yonk. Yonk. Oi. Oi. Good. Going to put you there. Going to get you. Going to put you there. Then... We are going to do the same thing. That's not the same thing, Dan. That's... There we are. Now, I have a very fiddly plan. It all hinges on me being able to hit what I need when I need it, which is not a strength of this game. Come on. I don't know what I hope to achieve by that. <laughs> I was hoping it would have enough forward momentum, then I realised there's nothing there. Um, am I missing something? That was the one from the room before. How the fuck am I meant to get anything there? I don't understand. I mean... If that's... Wait. Listen to what Dan is telling you, game. Oh, hang on. Well, well done me for stutter-fucking my way through everything again, as per. Never put down to ingenuity what can be explained by pure bloody-minded buffoonery and stumbling around in the dark. Oh, thank fuck there is actually light in this one, though. If this has been like, uh... Would you please just maybe stop? 
because if I need you specifically, ah, you fucking tit wizard. Never mind, because now I'm fucked. Okay, so I need, uh, basically, I assume, have the yellow one there in the end. What? Oh, you fucking mutt. Gimme. So, I assume that has to be... Okay, apparently I didn't have it selected again. That has to be there with the bottom one out, because that's the only way I can foresee of that catching that there. So, I guess, somehow... Nope, I don't know. Ooh, wait, no. No, 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 no. No. You'd be there and that way around. Perhaps. Ah. Aha. Maybe. Come on. Is that it? Is that it? Will you travel off? Fuck Knuckles! Ha! Alright. Fine. Be that way. It seems to be your proclivity. What if... I weren't stupid? That would be a fun world, wouldn't it? Uh, okay. Alrighty. I need to go the other way with this, I think. I don't know what I mean by that. It can't be the red one, because the red one comes out of the center. So it has to end up on the yellow one with the longest brick there, if we are all in agreement. How I go about that is beyond me. Uh, put you back there and have... Longest one at the top. I don't know what you want anymore, game. Blood? Do you, do you want me to full on break down and cry? Because it may happen. I won't lie. Stop being where I don't want you. Because if I spin it again. You g I hate you so much right now, game. Come on, because this is what I did before, and it gets too much momentum, and it buggers off. How in the titty Christmas? I'm, I have to rotate it that way, don't I? But I don't know how to do that. That might be the ticket. Uh, not quite enough, though. Bugger nuts. Um... Pish. I was hoping that might have been it. Well, let's see what happens. Shit. Ah, uh, I had the wrong thing in the wrong place. But the premise is sound. I think. There's someone phoning me at the minute, and I really wish I'd shut up. Okay. What did I have where? I need you there. And you there, I assume, now? That's... Sorry, that person ringing me has really thrown my focus. Oh, god damn. Give me a second. As I suspected, it was bullshit. And I just realised this is not going to work going the other way around, is it? That's going to fall out doing that way. So I am wrong. Off you toddle, you as well, also you. Let's start again. Okay, so... Uh, what have I... I haven't used the blue in any of these puzzles. I don't quite know how I would, to be honest. Um, pop it there, I suppose. Pop that there. Ah, uh, wait, wait. Have I done had a thought, or is it a headache? Ha! All right. All that thinking on the other. Oh, let's not question it, Dan. Um. All right. That seems deceptively easy. Which means I am, of course, wrong. 
because that's how these things work. Donk! Oh, yeah. Damn it, son of a bitch. Is there a reset button? No, why would that be a thing? Feck. I realised I was kind of right. Alright. Um, let's get you back there. Retract. Get you back. Come on, you mo- Uh, what way do I want this? That way. Oh, man. No, I need that back there. If I just keep rotating it that way, will I get back to the start? Can I unfuck myself up? That would be pleasant. There we go. Yeah, I realised I was an idiot there. What I need to do is then get the red and then pop that out to there. Then do that. And then catch it. That one seemed really easy. Was I making the others too hard? That sounds like me. I just got a trophy called the ball. Yay! A man on your radio? This 919 person? Uh huh. Mission control say that seven years ago. Something really uninteresting happened. And fall out of orbit. Was he a developer who was interested in actually was making was controls at work, so you shoved him in a trap somewhere? They lost contact. I realized today after umpteen space, episodes that this was made by uh, someone called Toxic Studios. Which, with the effect it actually has on me, is. Kind of There's fitting a as a name. Layer, just like yours, that converts light into proteins and I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. You annoy me. They didn't think it could last that long. Woo, motherfucker. The astronaut's name was Jonathan Burns. I don't care. He is Jonathan Burns. I honestly don't care. He's been alone in the dark for a very, very long time. Good for him. If it follows the actual he Alone in a Dark series, he'll have co-op and light soon, so fuck him. Wondrous, setting themselves up for a sequel that I hope never happens. Honestly, I started off really fond of this game. It was uh, simplified looking, but at the same time quite pretty. And the initial mechanics I really enjoyed, and it, it, it was fun puzzling. And then just some bullshit. The, when you had to do more fiddly things, the controls didn't really allow for it. And then there was... The obvious breaking of physics in the last one that made me nearly fucking die. Okay. Oh, sweet titty Christmas. Okay. Let's not panic. I said stop panicking. Okay. You... I assume... No, I can't assume anything at this stage. I can't even get out of here. Can I get out of here? Is there anything... I'm confused. There are no blocks in here for me to manipulate. Um... Help. Help, potato. I'm frightened. Genuinely confused about how I'm meant to get out of here. Okay. Well, that's going to be doing no good there. So that must have to move at some point. Or it's a red herring. That needs to launch me up to something high enough. So that's going to be a blue one because it's angled. Unless, of course, there's another one up there that I can't see. Alright, no. First question has to be, how the drop do I get out of here? What's the green one? What's green? Ah! Alright. Oh, potatoes! Right, okay. I'm having thoughts. I need to use... Like a red one? On that, I assume, at some point. To push the thing out. Or, oh, God, no. I'm being... Wait, am I? No, I can't use that, can I? Um, 
Alright, alright. Okay. I need to somehow get one of those green ones to drop in here. Question is, how do I go about doing that? Uh, are you underneath one? I can't have to drop one while that's moving. That would be cruel even by this game's standards. The only thing I can think right now is hit that bottom bit with the yellow and see what happens. Nope, that's not at all what I wanted. I don't know why that got rid of the green, because uh, that cancels the green one. That makes sense, I suppose. Don't know how the fuck I meant to get a green one in here so I can get out this goddamn block. Puzzle whole pit of doom. It's getting me so pissed off my sentences are dying again. I mean... Honestly, I don't get what this fucking puzzle is about. I mean, I, I know I have to launch myself out of here, but how in the fucking pissing Christmas am I meant to actually get that down here? There's no way of launching that because the blue one comes out of the middle and none of these line up. It's four from the edge, yes. There are no other ones. There's no way of dropping that. The red one comes out of the centre as well, so it has to go on to one of these. You would have thought. The only other thing I can think of is when you deploy that and spin it, will it come flying off? No! What if I try and spin it and then... Deploy! Just give me the fucking thing, would you? What if I spin it from there? See if that does anything. Give me that, you mutt. Because right now I'm fucking out of ideas. Ha! Give me the brick. Give me the brick. I'm so close. Give me that fucking brick. Ah, you fucker. Right. Whatever you do, Dan, do not, I repeat, do not hit the green fucking block. So I don't remember what I just did. Okay, so... Purple block is there. Right. I assume... Hey! See, that's what I get. I hit that button, but I hit the wrong fucking trigger button. So it did the reverse. Because apparently, Bizarro World rules are in play. And I need the purple one again to spin that round, I assume. I don't know. I'm making things up as I go here. You may have noticed. Oh dear. Does that help? That doesn't help. What if I have you there? And deploy. That doesn't actually give me enough height, although if I'm up there I might be able to get the green brick down. So I need purple again. How are, you enjo oh. how are you enjoying all of my thought processes? Is it fun? Fun to see how my brain doesn't work and just congeals things that I sometimes refer to as thoughts? That's not where I need that. Oh, fuck. There is no way of making that and that combine, is there? You see what I mean? I'm just going to ride this around for a bit. This video is taking far too long. No, okay, nearly fell in. Nearly fell in. Would like to avoid that, please. Um, I don't understand. I thought it would be simple from here on out, but I was wrong. The only thing that's simple is me. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait, wait a tick. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What if I hit that up there? Uh, could could you stop just scooping me along for no fucking reason? That'd be pleasant. Maybe if I do that, it'll act as a break. Smack my head. Fall down. All right. Now, I better not fucking fall from here on out. Because I need you to go there. 
and give me a brick so I can get the hell out of that godforsaken room because fuck that noise. Oh, thank Paul Dancing Pope Benedict. Ugh. That's why he's got that weird little car. It's so he can be up there and it, it's like when he was a dancer. You know, it's been passed on as a papal tradition. Um, that weird little robe underneath there. He's got lots of straps so he can tuck singles in there. And uh, when all that smoke comes out, that's actually... That's actually because inside they've got the dry ice thing going and he's given... He's, the old Pope is giving new Pope a dance. Or it's the new Pope is uh, testing out his skills to prove he's worthy. I haven't been quite clear on this. My sources have kind of kept it to themselves. Alright. I have an idea already. But it's how I go about actioning that. Okay. What spins? The entire room? No. Alright, give me the purple, please. Can I put it there? Give it, you fucking mutt. What does that do? Ah, that's the one I'm after. Yes. Because... I then... need to take the purple back. I need to deploy... a green thing at some point. Uh, I suppose it doesn't really matter where, does it? Gimme. Uh, what, what? There. Um, maybe I shouldn't have done it right there. What happens if I... Let's just try it. Oh, yeah, because if I get rid of the fucking piss. Right. I guess, basically, I need to somehow get that round there. So, green one. Get it. Get it. You. Interesting. Ah, no, I've got you. Ha! Ah, I think. I probably don't. I really probably don't. Um. Okay, what I'm going to do is put you there. No, I'm not, because I don't have the yellow thing. I need to remember that. Um, and I'm going to take green one back. Get green one again. I don't know why I did that, actually. Probably didn't need to do that. No, wait, because that's still not in the right place, is it? Fuck! Oh, balls. Well, let's just see what happens. We spin. We spin some more. And yeah, it's not going to do what I want. Bonk. Damn it. I guess I have to keep rotating. From there. Oh, god damn, son of a bitch. If I pull the colour back there, I clearly want that fucking colour where it is. Where I'm pointing, where I'm going at this time. You get what I'm trying to say, I'm getting angry. Reset it all, reset got to be a way of getting that yellow one to push it there because that's exactly where I'll need it but it's got to be a case of deploying it in the right place and then spinning the room floor wise if you see what I'm getting at okay I bet there's some annoying combination of how far out I'm meant to push it or something whether that will have any bearing. Hello. That was exciting. Was that meant to happen, or did physics have another one of its moments? Huh. Let's try it now. No? Alright. Heh. I'm just trying to see what happens, really. I'm just fucking around here. Because I'm lost, as far as ideas go. Actually, actionable ones. I don't know. Right, fuck. Do you know what? I've gone so far on this. I haven't wanted to do this, but I I need a little bit of assistance. I'm going to fucking walk through. This is giving me a headache. 
Now, I'm actually quite annoyed now, as I think it said this is the final puzzle. So I've gotten all this goddamn way cracked. Used a walkthrough only to find I was one puzzle away from beating this goddamn thing. Okay, I think... I think it said do this. Then get you. I'm really annoyed at myself now, though. Because I've gotten so far... Have I fully extended the red one? Yes. Um, okay, I guess that was the wrong way. That? Ah, uh, yeah, see, now I see it. It's obvious, because I knew I had to have that one there. No, you munt and bastard. That there, I just... Wanted to deploy it, you fucking twat. Right. See, I knew I had to have the longest yellow one there so I could do that. That was as apparent as it could be when I first entered the fucking room. Whee! And there's the final bloody puzzle. And I feel like I crapped out on it. Oh, well. It's all right, really. It doesn't matter. We got to the end, I think, and that's the important thing. Now for some annoying exposition with someone who needs a better fighting signal. Power. Good for you. If you don't believe me now, this may be your last chance. Whee! She's lying. Good. That's how people lie. With lots of little details, they tell you about a date, a time, a name. It makes it seem real, but it's I, not real. I don't care. Christ, we're probably in the same goddamn box. Maybe. More than likely. Good for you. Listen. Why do I get the feeling with all these weird rooms, by the looks of it, and the strange tiles? I'm just in a fucking rubber room somewhere. Banging, but you have to believe what I'm saying. I... Wait. Oh what exactly? God. The name they told you, Jonathan Burns. It's How do you know that? Threat. You're Jonathan, and they're going to burn you. Jesus Christ, they're going to make you walk right into the incinerator. Maybe. At this point, I'd welcome it. I'm losing signal. That's funny. I can't Don't walk through there. Her. That fog must be really strong. Now, you're trying to make me destroy myself like in Portal. I've drawn a lot of parallels to Portal throughout this game. Problem okay. is, Portal's you good. Get out of there right now. My overall impression now I've gotten the to the end of this is, is it's actually quite shit. Like, there are some good bits in there, don't get me wrong, it's not absolutely bottom tier or awful. But for no, the most it's part... It's a coffin, and they want you to good! Yourself into the incinerator. I will do that with reckless abandon, here. glee, and a it. certain amount of excitement that I'm finally done with this fucking ordeal. Come on. If this is an either-or choice, and there's a whole separate ending, you can go fuck off, I ain't doing that. Good. Bye. I hope you're in that box, because you just got crushed, you can. No. Whee! She wouldn't really need to sell it that much if it were true. I'm fairly certain I'm about to get killed. But, you know, I wouldn't really, because I don't have to play this anymore. And let me guess, fade to black and we never know what was the truth. Or fade to fuzz. I'm going to never know what was the truth. He was saying I wasn't in space, wasn't he? That's clearly space. Well then. It looks like I'm dead anyway. Is this the end? Is this the end? Is that the end? Am I going to be tormented by small cubes forevermore? Uh-huh. Are they, are they trying to say there are multiple cubes, or are these just parts of the one I busted apart? I had less faith. Thankfully, even her radio signals couldn't reach me in the cube. My Wi-Fi worked so I could get a walkthrough, otherwise I would have been trapped in there forevermore. Well, now I think you owe me pretty fucking big time. That's a shame. We found a life we thought was lost forever. Captain Jonathan Burns, Shuttle Line 19. 
Well, he's not coming back now, is he? I'm fairly certain if he was in that same cube, he is dead. This is a very strange ending. Was there another ending there? I don't know. I'm not entirely certain that I care either. I might look into it and see. But even if it was, it's, this is clearly the right ending, quote unquote. That was longer than I was hoping this episode would be. I was thinking maybe it'd be like two puzzles and done. But, you know, we got there in the end. I assume we're at the end. If they come up with some strange parody zone, we know exactly, uh, exactly what they're ripping off. But I... Th is there any more? Is there anything else? Or just dramatic music? I think it's just dramatic music. Oh, and a lens flare. Hello, JJ Abrams. Oh, hang on. Is this a monolith? Is that a massive gaming PC? Yeah, they look like the lights have installed where I work. They give me a headache as well. Does this bit really need to be drawn out so long? It seems unnecessary. Okay, the music's changed, so I assume we're drawing to some sort of final conclusion. No, I said conclusion, not solution, because that would be a very, very different thing indeed. All right. Fade to black. Because that's how all of these things end. There we are. You guys have got a lot to answer for. Rob Yeskim. I know that name. I don't know where from, but I definitely recognize it. Rupert Evans. Don't know that one. Well, that was an ordeal. Um, goodness. Like I was saying earlier, I started off really liking that game. Um, I liked the puzzles. I thought it was simple. When I was playing things like I Am Bread, which is not so much a puzzler as just an exercise in how much shit someone can take before they actually vomit up their own spleen and foam to death. So coming to this, where there were actual puzzles that had some sort of sense behind them, was good. And I can't fault the actual puzzles and the design of things. It's the controls that fuck me over. And when physics decide to just go a little bit strange, that really let it down and it turned it from being a straightforward puzzler to what's going to break and not let me do what I want to do this time, especially when there were things that were very contextual and depending on timing and such. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't think I'd really recommend this game after that because it, then it ruins it. It sort of breaks the immersion and the fun of it. And with a puzzler... The entire mechanic is the puzzles, really. It is a self-contained thing. There isn't all different aspects like there is in other types of games. It's all about the puzzles. And when the physics that define the puzzles and the controls are as wonky and broken, the whole thing kind of falls apart. So there's my verdict. Don't get it. Although, you know, if you've watched any of these, you know the puzzles, so there'd be no point in it. So that's an asinine comment. Anyway, thank you for sticking with me throughout this episode and this series. If you have watched them all, I appreciate it. Pop a like down below. Uh, tell me what you think of this game, whether you think I'm being too harsh or whether you agree that it's bullshit. Or if you've played it, let me know what you think. Uh, also, pop any suggestions down below uh, of any Mega Drive games or any other things you'd maybe like to see me play in the future. Um, other than that, have a look at the description for links to my playlists and social media. I just like their generically other fellow indies. That's nice. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and until the next game. To oh, Valve. Here's a fucking surprise. <laughs> you weren't so much aping them as you'd knocked them out and worn their skin in some sort of weird Buffalo Bill fashion. Toodaloo. sake, man. You're like hipsters. Turn your back. You're fucking everywhere. The next area, once we beat this boss, is going to be an artisanal cereal bar. I mean like a cafe, not like a tracker or whatever. <laughs>